Hello and welcome back to your Thursday video, which is of course another episode of Star Trek Discovery Season 5, Episode 8, entitled Labyrinths. So, I literally just finished watching it and uh, here's my review, here's my thoughts on it. So, did I like this episode? Kind of. I'm gonna admit, uh, kind of. Like, it, it does progress things. But it doesn't negate what I've been saying now for the past couple of weeks, and that is take Maul and Locke out of the equation from the very beginning, and everything minus the brain stuff happens as it does, as it has been happening in the episodes. So, and then prompt, I think at the, at the end of the video, if I remember, I'm going to go over what I would have done differently for, for this, uh, uh, for, for this season of Discovery. So we pick right up where we left off at the end of last week's episode, where we learn that the final clue is in this archive and this archive is in the Badlands. So again, more DS9 Dominion War references. So they go there, we see the Discovery going into the Badlands, barely making it. They arrive at this archive and Burnham goes to look at the, the manuscript of uh, Labyrinth of the Mind that a Marina Durex um, left, you know. And then whilst uh, their book has been asked to um, identify something from Quajon, you know, his people. Uh, since he's the last uh, uh, Quajon uh, there. And so he has this big emotional moment about that. And um, so then Burnham discovers the thing that she needs to within the book, taps it, and then she's brought into this mind palace type of situation where this is where she will just try to discover uh, the where the final clue is. Um, so while she's doing that, the Breen... You know, they're uh, with the progen progenitor, not progenitor, the, the head brain guy, uh, Primark. Uh, they're talking about going to it. You know, Maul uh, end, ends up letting slip that, you know, Discovery has more than one clue. You know, they, they get there, they try to force their way in. They're refused, so they go in anyway. And then... Once they get there, they do this, you know, brain have like really strong technology. I mean, look at what happened to the the defiant um, in towards the end, you know, in the second ba battle of Chintaka, where the brain technology just destroyed it uh, with their dampening field or whatever it was called. Uh, so they, they're using some of those types of technology to get foot soldiers in um and then of course it's Raynar and Bree, uh, not Breen, uh, Book, who are taking out some of the uh, people there. Um, Reese has the con, and I like that. I like that he got he, you know, he has the con. He, uh, I think he Reese would make a good captain just from the bits that we've seen in this episode. Um, you know, Burnham is still trying to figure it out. Uh, first she thinks it's in history. So she goes looking for a bunch of history books and then she thinks it's a, because it's an actual labyrinth of the mind that she has this maze to get through. That's not it. And um, in the end, it's basically her admitting that she's afraid and other stuff that the this person who's taking the look of, of book um, is like, okay, you're, you're good to go now. We needed you to uh, basically admit this so we knew that uh, the progenitor tech would be in good hands because if she failed it, she would have died. Um, and so she wakes up, he, uh, she's told where the final clue is, she goes there, she gets it, and then um, the Primark of the Breen is basically threatening to destroy this archive. And so after the discovery gets the location of where they need to go for, to find a progenitor tech. Um, they come up, Burnham comes up with this plan to make it seem like Discovery's been destroyed. Um, so she beams the final, the whole thing over onto the brain ship. 
and then she they, they jump and make it look like they, uh, they've been destroyed. They arrive 20 light years away from it, badly damaged, and um, with the brain having the actual location, uh, it'll take them six hours at maximum warp to get there. So they have five hours to fix up the ship and, uh, and then an hour to get ahead of them. Um, and then the uh, Primark goes to actually break this sacred vow that he made with Burnham in order to save the archive. And uh, he's originally going to destroy it. Uh, that did not sit well with Maul, so she, of course, then um, tries to rally the troops around uh, and ends up killing the Primarch. And is again going for what was hinted at at the end of the last episode. She wants to get the progenitor tech to revive uh, the Scion, being Locke. Um, and that's how the episode ends. I think she's the one who's taken, because she's married to the Scion, she's the new Primarch, I, I guess. Um, and so, yeah, she also seemed a bit distraught about the destruction of Discovery. I don't think she want, had planned for that to actually happen or wanted it to happen that way. Um, and so that's the end of the episode. So, yeah, I somewhat liked it. There's bits of it that I liked, bits of it that I didn't like. Um, but, yeah, I, I, as I keep, uh, like I said at the beginning of this video, and here I am struggling with this because again, you um you take Maul and Locke out from the very beginning. Discovery finds everything, no problem. It's it's the um, Raiders of the Lark Lost Ark um situation, you know, from the first Indiana Jones film. So how would I have done this season differently? Well, most of the times when it's got to do with this type of thing, you know, where they have to find different clues. And stuff and there's two people vying for it um my issue was the fact that Maul and Locke never got one they almost had it a few times but then Discovery being Discovery uh ends up getting it regardless and I'm a Discovery apologist I love Discovery and I will explain why I love Discovery when the season finale drops in two weeks um but there's no stakes really. There, there has been no stakes and they're only adding in stakes now when there's two episodes left. That's it. That's the only reason why they've been doing it is that's the only reason why this is happening now because they're, they're coming to the last two episodes. And I've enjoyed season five from, from the very first episode to now. I have been enjoying it, but the, the stakes weren't there. Yes, we have been shown that there could have been stakes there, you know, in the uh, one of the episodes where um, Burnham and um, Raynar were trapped by, by the time bug. You know, we've seen what could have happened. But my issue is we haven't had that. You know, that's that's my big criticism of this year is it's been too easy. It has been way too easy for Discovery getting all the fucking clues. You know, at, at the very first episode, they set it up that they failed to get the actual book from uh, the Romulan vessel and stuff. Uh, but then after that, they've been handed everything on a fucking silver platter. You know, they they discovered that the that there's a fifth cadence that's underneath this the rock with the four verses. Um, and so they get that, and then they go to Trill, they get that easily, then they go into the Ion Storm for the ISS Enterprise, they get that after Molly Wap and Maul and Locke, and you see, that's, that's my great, biggest gripe, is they've just been handed it, they just, they, it's not earned, like, I would have loved it if it was a case where, you know, Maul and Locke slash the Breed had maybe two of the clues you know and they had to come up with some sort of way like some stakes to actually try and you know sneak on to the green ship to get those two pieces that they needed i would have enjoyed that a lot more than just discovery looking into getting every single piece and it, it sucks you know because this is the final season and i know it wasn't supposed to be the final season but it's it's not living up to what it should be, you know, um, and that's coming from 
a Discovery lover. I I loved Discovery. I loved season one, season two, season three, season four. But then again, it fumbled the end for me. Um, and now with season five, it's it started off strong in the first two or three episodes, and now it's it, it's just fumbling the bag for me, and that sucks. I really want to enjoy this season. I really want it to end on a high note, but I know it's not going to happen. Um, so yeah, that is my thoughts and opinions on this. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comments down below. If you want to see m more Star Trek reviews, do subscribe to the channel. I will, of course, be reviewing the last two episodes, episodes 9 and 10, when they come out. And uh, I'll, of course, review more Star Trek as things happen. Um, so thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all tomorrow for my review of The Dark Knight Rises, continuing on with my trilogy month. And then I'll see you on Saturday for my Doctor Who review. And then Sundays is my weekly pickups. Um, so thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I shall see you all tomorrow for the next upload.